Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to Custom Surface Shop Time. Today we'll be showing you how to install our RapidLock engineered hardwood flooring. We have designed RapidLock to have the best attributes of both solid hardwood and laminate flooring by taking the natural warmth and beauty of solid hardwood and the ease of install of laminate. There are instructions in every carton of our flooring and at customsurface.com. But to a lot of you, seeing is believing. Today we are going to install some of our vintage hickory flooring so you can see just how easy it really is. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when you get your flooring home is let it acclimate for at least 48 hours. Also, make sure your subfloor is level and free of all construction debris. After you've prepared your subfloor, you're going to want to install some underlayment. If you're not sure what underlayment to use, ask one of the associates at your local Menards. Your underlayment will go in between your rapid lock flooring and your subfloor. This allows your flooring to float freely over your subfloor. Let's get started. We will be using our demonstration table for today's install. The blue sections here represent the walls in your home. As you can see, we've already installed our underlayment and our first row flooring. See these red things here? These are expansion spacers. Those allow that quarter inch gap you need between your floor plank and your wall. To start this next row, we will be using our cutoff off the piece we used to finish our previous row. We can use this piece because we still have a good factory edge. Now your next plank will go in just as easy. Hold it at a 45 degree angle and slide it until it hits the butt end of your last piece. Now you're going to continue this process all the way down to the end of the room. You will notice that your end joints are not locked together. They will be held together by your next roll that slides in, just like that. Now when you get to the last piece in your roll, you don't even need to measure it. Just flip it around, put it tight up against your spacer, grab your pencil, and now you're ready to make your cut. We've already cut one, so you slide it in just like so. Again, we're going to take our cutoff from our last piece in the previous row to start our new row. You're going to want to continue this process all the way down to the end of your row. And I want to thank you for watching, and for more helpful hints, check out our other videos at Custom Surface Shop Time.